And all day long, we keep seeing scenes like this, people paying tribute to this little boy whose death was senseless. And we hear that from his brother who was there when he died. You can see the cast on 10 year old Bradley Palomino's wrist. It's the result of a very traumatic incident that happened here where a photo of his eight year old brother Byron smiles over flowers and other mementos left here. This is where Byron was killed as he walked home from school with his brother around 415 Wednesday afternoon. We were just going to cross the street, but then um, the car was turning and then it hit me and my brother. Bradley Palomino came to this memorial at the intersection of 31st Avenue and 100th Street, where he and his brother were hit by a Nissan Titan pickup truck that police say was driven by 52 year old Jose Barcia. He's now charged with criminally negligent homicide and other charges. The boys were walking with their mother when they got hit. She was not injured, but as the boy's sister points out, their mother and the whole family are all in deep emotional pain. She's like very devastated right now. Like, Byron was so young and like he, he was also like always like happy and like cheerful. The fatal encounter here came the day after a woman was struck and killed by a city environmental protection truck in Elmhurst, Queens. And then on Thursday morning, a jogger was killed when an SUV hit her as she crossed a street in Bayside, Queens. It's part of a larger pattern. We're not doing enough. We're not rolling out ambitious street redesigns fast enough, dedicated bike lanes, bus lanes, pedestrian space improvements. Meanwhile, where Byron Palomino was killed, sadness for the boy who was set to turn nine in a few weeks. We already had his gift like for like his birthday and um, seems like he'll like never receive it. And advocates say that since the Vision Zero Street Safety Program began 10 years ago, the city's averaged 41 pedestrian deaths in traffic by this time of the year. This year, though, it's higher. 52 people killed and more injured. And